What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another quick cannabis update with your host from the block. So this report is coming from CBS News in Minnesota or out of Minnesota. Uh, the police force, law enforcement leaders are raising concerns over legal cannabis becoming legal. So it's reality that it's most likely going to become uh, legal within Minnesota and law enforcement leaders are raising concerns about the driving while impaired. Uh, additionally, there may be some things with hiring as well that they may have to adjust as well. I've seen that with other departments, but their main focus was the uh, breathalyzers and how TAC isn't a component that can be tested. Uh, right now they have it at 30 to 45 days is where this the uh, TAC will, or yes, the TAC will last in your body or the increased amounts of TAC will last in, in your body. So if you get it under that, that threshold, then that means technically you're not, you weren't. But even if you do a 30, a day, a test for 30 to 45 days, that's just outrageous. You would have to do it like immediately. So I think that's also another thing that would have to get past how quickly you could do it. Because if you say a week, then that's like, come on now. Are you really getting valuable information if you're uh, testing people week out and then being like, all right, yeah, you're, you have weed in your system. I could have smoked 30 to 45 days ago. So this doesn't have any, anything to do with this week or the last week. But that's the big thing with the Minnesota police force, and that's what they're raising. Um, but they said they're going to continue to hand out tickets. For if you're driving while impaired, they're going to keep trying to monitor it. The DWI is the term, but they're just trying to implement better ways in order to test people if they do perceive them to be under the influence, because right now all they have is smell. But that's all I have for you on this one. Till next time.